And we're back. So I am leaving the uh, Baymont Hotel. I can't remember where the hell it is, but it's uh, someplace uh, in Iowa along the Mississippi River. It's right on the Mississippi River, as a matter of fact. Uh, it was so hot last night. I was probably, uh, I don't want to say I had heat stress or anything, but I was definitely uh, more uncomfortable than I wanted to be. And then there's like a million of these, uh, what I like to call pecker nuts around that don't bite. <laughs> I call them pecker nuts because it's kind of rude, but when we had our dog, they'd always uh, <laughs> gather around his balls, his penis. So. All them uh, pecker nuts. So yeah, uh, it was a nice hotel. The cool thing is they had a biker, ah, GPS lady, so early in the morning screaming at me. So they had a biker rate, which was uh, which was pretty awesome, uh, which was cheaper than the AAA rate. So that was pretty cool. So uh, yeah, was able to. Get dinner at the restaurant, which is right next door. There's even a little pathway that connects the two, so you don't have to get attacked by uh, pecker nuts. And I made the mistake now of opening my face shield because my glasses are fogging up. So, all right. So I am gonna continue on. The road I was on, which was uh, 52 North, and I'm going to take that 18 East into the neighboring state of uh, Wisconsin. I'm going to ride through Wisconsin on the east side of the Mississippi River heading north, and uh, then head back into Minnesota I'm probably camp someplace there uh, potential for severe tea, th tea storms today <coughs> I don't think it'll be as crazy as uh, it was in these parts yesterday I've knock on wood my helmet my wooden head uh, I've been, pr I've lucked out pretty good with the weather uh, thus far, so. so we'll see. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a high mileage day today because I'm following a uh, scenic route. I was looking at the AAA map and I was on a scenic route yesterday. Of course, my camera died as soon as I was coming into Iowa. I don't know, whoa. I want to go this way. Didn't know where I was going for a second. Thought I was already on 52. Yeah, so my camera died, of course, when I was coming across the Mississippi, and there was awesome footage of the Mississippi. I'm not riding back to get footage, though, obviously. So. Yep, yep. Look at that. Away we go. <coughs> I gotta stop GPS lady because she's still trying to get me to where I thought I was gonna go last night, which was a campground. And don't get me wrong, like I could have probably suffered in the tent last night. The problem was, <coughs> was I was super hot, so uh, that's number one. And the bugs ridiculous, not biting, but they were just like all in your face and flying up your nose and in your eyes. And I would have been sleeping in my, uh, you have seen my little teeny tent, it doesn't have good airflow. I just sweat my ass off. So that's why I convinced myself to stay in the hotel, but that's my story, I'm sticking to it. Alright, well, uh, I'll leave the camera on a little bit. Ah, screw it. Screw it, Nat. Probably turn it off. I don't think it's going to be a... <coughs> excuse me. A ton to, ton to see. So with that, I will sign off and come back in later. Peace out! And we're back! So, uh... 
what would this trip be if I didn't take a picture of the mighty Mississippi River? Crossing the Mississippi coming home is like a big deal. It makes you feel like you're uh, you know, west of the Mississippi, obviously. Which is, uh, it makes you feel like you're really on your way home or closer to home. Because you're, for me, that's always been a dividing line of, of the uh, west. <coughs> so I'm not using GPS lady right now. I am just. Uh, Follow directions on this piece of tape on my windscreen. It says I need to stay on uh, 52 North. I was really trying to get up earlier today to beat the heat, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't fall asleep last night. You know, I was looking at maps, and then uh, we know it, it's midnight or so. So trying to get up at five was pretty rough. Oh. Close my shield, big wasp. No white Anglo Saxon princess either. I meant the actual insect. Which I'm pretty sure we're almost at the uh, <coughs> intersection of three states here. The other side of the Mississippi is probably still um, Michigan, I think. But then <coughs> it'll go up to uh, Wisconsin! Dicky 
Dickieville. Dickieville? Who you going to see? Richard. Richard Johnson. Welcome to Dickieville. Population 1061. It's Donnie's. I don't know why. I'm looking this crazy today. Ready this morning? Maybe because I had breakfast today. I had eggs and I had a waffle. Which is kind of crazy. Wisconsin Wood Inn. That's pretty dope. You did? Dickieville. Dickieville? Who are you going to see? Richard. Richard Johnson. A bad thing. I'm not going to be able to get a beer in uh, Wisconsin. It's 8.30 in the morning. I think they probably frown upon that at least. Ooh, there's a tavern. Not open. If it was Pittsburgh, I'd be open. Alright, with that, peace out. Peace out! And we're back! So I saw a sign for a brewery in Potski. Po Pots. Potosi? Potosi? I'm not sure. But it said there was a restaurant and a brewery down here. So I was going to look for it. And I have yet to see it. I doubt they be open at uh, 9.48 in the morning. Actually, oh my god, I forgot it's 848, so there's no way. There's no way. Uh, maybe if it's a restaurant, that's the one saving grace, right? Restaurant? It is interesting though, I saw a sign. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw a putty cat. And it said, uh, then I wonder why I don't get any place. stuck on these stupid little side quests. So, I'm going to go a little further. I doubt they're open. I'm excited because my clock is wrong. <coughs> I'm not excited because my clock is wrong. I was excited, parentheses, uh, but my clock is wrong. I thought it was around 10 o'clock. It's uh, actually approaching 9 o'clock. So. Nice and cool here today, though. Yes, I, I think uh, the brewery is gone, is not down here. That's my guess. It had to be in that town. Could be wrong though. Something down there. Looks like it rained in these parts all in the morning because <coughs> there's a lot of water on the street so anywho uh, I'm going to get to this building that looks like a brewery and it probably is yep that is it This is like a mecca here. It's like a mecca of beer. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. I got up early today. Uh, Alright, uh, well. I'm just gonna see what's happening. Just for kicks. My guess is. Uh, I'm gonna 
message. It's not until 10 o'clock. I'm going to mess it. Ugh, all right. Well, with that, peace out. People of the world, join hands and board the love train, the love train. People of the world, join hands and board the love train, the love train. I just check in real quick. I'm still in Wisconsin and I'm riding along the uh, mighty Mississippi River. It's uh, pretty nice, man. You know, for a uh, pizza however, it's a uh, big, big river, man. It makes it Sacramento kind of look like a joke where I'm from. But, uh, man, it's really like I got to say. Yep, yep. I'm hoping I can get a beer. I don't even want one, really, but I feel the ob I feel obligated to have a beer in Wisconsin for Minnesota. So uh, yeah, that's that. Considering battery, got a bike behind me. Looks like a cruiser. I'm not sure what. Maybe a Harley. You know, the Harley Davidson capital of the world. For that, peace out. And we're back. So I just had lunch. Had an awesome hamburger, a local beer, and uh, can't remember what the name of the town was. But uh, looks like it potentially is going to rain. There's supposed to be some severe storms coming in, and uh, Mrs. Smith thought I was going to miss them. So we'll see. Time will tell. Yeah, it was like the turtle bar or something. <coughs> I had it like a, you now I'm into motorcycles and turtles. So I uh, had to go there. And beer, yeah, beer too. So, so yeah, uh, it'd be nice if I don't get soaked. I have my rain gear ready to roll, but uh, I'm not really interested in putting it on. I'll sweat my ass off. Yep, yep, that's that. So, uh, Mississippi looks kind of cool in this lighting. And with that, I am gonna bounce. Peace out. And we're back. So, I am. Turning on 14 here. I think we're going across the river. I'm in lacrosse. And uh can't turn here though. And I think we'll be in Minnesota as soon as we uh as soon as we cross the Mississippi. You betcha! You betcha we'll be in Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, good. This is six. This is sixteen west. So that's good. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Here we go. I put my ring here, and uh, again, so there's a crapshoot when you got a suit like this. Because now I'm like stewing in my own sweat. The mighty miss. Turn it up, turn it up. It's interesting how wide the Mississippi is in some spots. I think we're still probably in Wisconsin. Because 
because well I can say because the GPS says we are but also this is just all like like floodplain area Minnesota! That's like the lamest sign ever. It's almost worse than the news. Especially when Jesse Ventura, that wrestling guy, was there going to refigure it out. Like, bam! BAM! Signs. So, yeah, yeah. Weird with new gloves. Uh, working the GPS. I'm gonna turn this off. Peace out. And we're back. So I've been sitting at this fucking construction stop point for like seems like ten minutes. It's fucking hot. Cause I got my rain gear on. Man, I'm gonna open my visor up. I usually there's rain in on the inside. Just sitting here, stewing in my fucking own sweat. Good times. Looks like they're bringing some vehicles through now, so. Uh, hopefully, this isn't too crazy. Not going through construction zones with pilot cars. 
<laughs> in the rain. Ah, good times. Good times. The nice thing is, according to the GPS, uh, it looks like uh, we're heading south, and then we'll be heading west. And west is to my right. That looks brighter over there. So that's what I'm hoping. Hoping it'll be good news. Yep, yep. Had the stupid Santa charging for uh, a half hour and 45 minutes when I was at lunch. So. Oh my god, boring! I'll turn the filming off for a little bit. Peace out. And we're back! We're back! I was gonna record going through the construction area, but I got the dreaded no SD card error. Uh, I gotta send this shit box back to Sena when I get home. I think it's still under warranty. But yeah, the rain's letting up, but it was raining pretty hard going through that construction zone. <coughs> and there's nothing like going through uh, grooved pavement when it's raining pretty hard. I mean, it's bad enough then with the water. It was uh, definitely an uncomfortable uh, experience. Lucky the car behind me was pretty cool. It was a speed racer riding up on me. So, <coughs> yeah, that's that. I'm hoping. Looks like I think I'm going to head towards the right. And it looks like. It looks like uh, the ring, it's brighter over there. And that's always a good sign. So. Burped up some of that burger. A Houston Street. Right. Looks like that's the way we're going. Over this way. So we'll see. This road's fairly curvy, I think. It should be fun in the rain. All right, I'm going to sign off with 23 miles on this road, so we'll see how it goes. Peace out! And we're back! We're back! Yeah, I'm uh, getting really tired, which is weird because it's only 4 o'clock East Coast time. Central, it is three o'clock, and I'm just freaking tired, man. Like you know, you get to the point where you, you think you see, like you see a car ahead of you. At one point, there was a car ahead of me. And I was like, oh, that's a bear running across the road. It's like, no, that's a minivan way off in the distance. So uh, it's always pretty scary when it gets like that. Uh, I'm gonna try to shake it with some sugar and caffeine at the uh, next opportunity. Still in Minnesota. Maybe I'll get a soda. I should get a mint in a soda.
get some mileage done on the super slab. I wasn't feeling good around doing like, I think maybe all said and done, I did like 230 miles <coughs> for the day. It was super fun, but you know, eventually I got to get home. So I'm on the slab. And uh, that's that. Peace out. And we're back. So I uh, stopped for a fuel and a break again because I'm pretty sure I almost fell asleep. Let's just leave it at that coming down the freeway, which is uh, pretty dangerous. So I uh, probably should have stopped at this park I was going to stop at. And uh, hang on a second. Got to turn my phone on. So I probably should have stopped at the uh, the place I was going to stop at, which was the state park. But I was like, ah, oh, I can make it further, you know. The famous uh, last words of I can make it further nonsense. And uh, yeah, sure enough, uh, probably was a bad idea. So to make matters worse, uh, excuse me. I'm staying at a KOA again, and not against KOAs, but uh, I had a state park picked out in that area and a KOA, and I just checked again, and the state park is only open for day use, so they don't have campsites there. So I probably should have stayed at the uh, the other campground because I was kind of excited to stay at a state park campground but anyway uh, I guess you know is what it is so I got another 44 miles on the slab uh, hopefully I don't almost fall asleep again or fucking die that would be pretty scary so uh, yeah with that I will sign off and hopefully do a little filming from there peace out And we're back. So all I wanted to say here is, ho, 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 green giant. I don't know why the green fucking, holy shit, this truck might as well fucking scale it. The green giant, man. Ho, 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 green giant. Peace out. back so I got up the slab to try to stay awake and I just been singing songs all time in my head you know just to make sure I can't fall asleep for a second again like I did on the interstate which is pretty spooky because I woke up right after I fell asleep but it was still scary because like god two seconds I could have fucking crashed so right now I'm on Iggy Azalea songs you know I went through like other cool ones so don't judge me but fucking I'm an Iggy fan so uh do work. Walk a mile in these Louboutins. They don't wear these shits where I'm from. I'm not hating, I'm just telling you. I'm trying to let you know what the fuck that I've been through. Two feet in a red dirt, school skirt, sugar cane back lane. Three jobs you could get to save, but I got a ticket on that plane. That's about all I remember. Something about floors to scrub. Yep, yep. That's my entertainment, or I could just talk to the camera. And that should be entertaining too. I'm also gonna watch my speed. So I think this is a 55 area. And I'd be going sassy. Serious. Alright, well, hopefully uh found it entertaining. Maybe I'll sing some sound garden uh, next to my helmet. So peace out.
ready. Video tacking. And we're back. Stupid GPS lady wants me to take a U-turn. I think she's bullshitting me. So looks like we're right off the super slab. Uh, it looks like it's downhill somewhere. That's what this says. A downhill, a right hill, a somewhere, a downhill. thing in a lie to me. Oh god. Wee right, so. Hope it's not right on that. Oh come on shut you GPS lady is out of control. She just told me Koa. Alcoa. Gravel run, it's awesome. The gravel on spots. Ugh. Sun, sun everywhere, sun. Do this, don't do that. Can't you read the sign? Sorry, I'm so musical today. Oh, it's ten sides right there. Cool. We're here. Oh. All right, and with that, for the last time today, peace out.
Big girl. Huh? You pretty girl? Huh? You're a very pretty girl.